Now with Terra Luna Classic and Terra Luna 2.0 both getting hit very hard today, you know, I believe Terra Luna 2.0 is down more than 70% right now. Terra Luna Classic is down more than 25% right now. It seems that the writing is on the wall for anything that revolves around Do Kwon and the Terra Luna ecosystem. But I do want to point out some similarities and differences between what we are seeing now and what we saw just last month when Terra Luna became depegged and, and why Terra Luna may level out. So anybody that's out there that believes it has a future, whether you're talking Terra Luna Classic or 2.0, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to say that it's impossible to see these assets rise in value, but I do want to point out some of the similarities and differences between what we're seeing now and what we saw back then with Terra Luna. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, got a link in the description for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, six free stocks, any $1 crypto trade, $5 in free crypto. And then if you guys do want to get Terra Luna and Terra Luna Classic, you've got a link in the description for Voyager. Very easy to set up your account there. You're going to get $25 in free Bitcoin. Just for signing up but let's talk about this because i say if you want to get it right and then we're going to talk about how far down in price it is you know there are pros and cons to seeing something decline so far in value because it looks really cheap all right terra luna uh let's go back just a month ago real quick and talk about why it fell in value in the first place you know, for those people that are brand new that might be jumping into Terra Luna Classic or Terra Luna 2.0 right now, you need to know the origin story. And they released a summary, I believe it was yesterday, maybe the day before, stating that it was because people were arbitraging the difference in the price of UST, their stable coin, on centralized and decentralized exchanges. Maybe there was a cent or two difference between the, the price on one exchange and the other, and they were buying and selling in massive quantities, and, and it caused a problem. It exposed a, a vulnerability, as the way they put it. And, and once it became too far depegged, people started to panic, and then they had to repeg it, right? Now, how do they repeg it? By printing and minting trillions, not millions, not billions, trillions of Terra Luna, now classic, and it really caused everything to spiral out of control. So now we are left with the Terra Luna Classic, which is the one that became, uh, you know, which is the one that has like 6.5 trillion coins outstanding now. And I believe it's sitting around four zeros and a nine. And then you have Terra Luna 2.0, which is sitting somewhere in the $5 range. It is being very volatile today. So, I mean, it could be anywhere from $3 to $8 by the time this video is, is live and you guys are watching it. But Knowing the volatility and knowing the downside momentum, here's the things that we need to look at, especially if you're trying to determine whether or not you want Luna Classic, whether you want Luna 2.0, or whether you don't want to touch the Luna Crypto at all. If you're looking at Luna Classic, the things that I like about it are the fact that it's it's unassociated with Do Kwon, it's unassociated with these developers anymore, and what we have here is an, essentially a meme coin. Very similar to what Shiba Inu coin was, and, and really still is, but a, a meme coin with potential. As soon as people realize, and as soon as all of the people who were holding Luna Terra to, or Luna Terra Classic, as soon as they sell off, because the only reason they held it was to get the airdrop for Luna 2.0, as soon as all of them are gone, what you're left with is a meme coin with investors who strictly want to see the price of the coin go up. Now, at that point, you will need to see campaigns around burning Terra Luna Classic. You will need to see campaigns about utility for Terra Luna Classic. It's not going to be easy to rebuild, and it's not going to be easy to, I, I guess, strengthen the the community. But I'm going to tell you right now, the lunatics, they're, they're, I mean, they live up to their name, man. They are a little crazy. And if, if anybody can stick through it, and if anybody can see this thing out, it is the self-proclaimed lunatics that could really drive that meme coin higher in price once everybody sells off that held Luna Classic strictly for the Terra Luna 2.0 airdrop. Now, 
If you're talking about uh, getting into Ler Terra Luna, Lera Tuna, who, the, who is that? Terra Luna 2.0. Some things you need to realize and some things you need to recognize. It is dropping drastically. Now, it is different. Um, it's dropping in price right now because nobody wants it. <laughs> it's dropping in price right now because the market is deciding that it's a lower, it's what's worth less than what it IPO'd at or ICO'd at. And it is not dropping in price because they are printing trillions of tokens like they did with Classic. It's They're not trying to repeg or depeg or anything like that. The market is determining right now, and it's very volatile because of it, but the market is determining where they accept Terra Luna 2.0. So let's say it bottoms out and you're thinking about getting in. Some of the concerns that I have with that, it's the same developers, it's the same leader, it's the same team that allowed Terra Luna Classic to die in the first place. And when they did that, in my opinion, okay, this is, this I want this to be opinion, they showed zero integrity in trying to rebuild, but they moved on to a Terra Luna 2.0. And I, I wholeheartedly believe that if Terra Luna 2.0 continues to crash the same way that Classic did, what we're going to have here pretty soon is a Terra Luna 3.0. And at that point, I would be out of my mind to see centralized exchanges with any sort of self-respect listing a Terra Luna 3.0 so it is going to be interesting to see how they build this up. You know, they, they did not try to rebuild Classic, and it does seem like Terra Luna 2.0 is getting hit very hard today, and it may be easier to abandon 2.0 and go right on over to the 3.0. So my major concern there is, is the leadership within the project is the same leadership that allowed the first one to die in the second place. But hey, you know, I mean, great things can happen. And what we're seeing right now is a relatively, uh, actually a very cheap coin in, in relation to where it was just about a month ago, six weeks ago, maybe. You're sitting on a valuation right now of about a billion dollars, and it had a $40, $50 billion valuation just six weeks ago. I believe the price back in April was, you know, $119, uh, 40 to $50 billion valuation. And now Luna Terra 2.0 is, is sitting on a $1 billion valuation with the current outstanding supply. Full, or, uh, I guess, you know, full circulating supply, it would be about a $5 billion valuation. But that would still lead to potential 10 to 40x gains in the price of Terra Luna 2.0 if it got back to where it was before. I want to know what you guys think though. Down in the comments below. Are you Luna Classic or are you Luna 2.0? Or do you guys or are you guys interested in both Lunas? Uh, I, I guess both Luna Cryptos. Let me know in the comments below. And if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to get Terra Luna 2.0, you get Voyager in the description below. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.